<laughs> so, Joe, you're saying what? You're saying we need to talk about games so that they become more accessible to plebeians? No, I'm not only saying that. I'm also saying that simply by virtue of pointing at games and gamers and everything and going, hey, this sucks, and here's why, means that the developers and all of us have to step their games up, uh, that's a good joke, and creative people with unique ideas who might have ignored the medium before will want to get involved with it, and creative people who are already involved won't get completely fed the fuck up with the industry and ditch it like I'm about to. Whether or not you care about normal people liking them, if we have a wider variety of mature, interesting games, gaming on the whole will just be better. And I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to get behind that. But Joe, talking about games doesn't do a goddamn thing. You have to get in there and make your own games, not just bitch and moan and be your stupid dirt to wrong. As a consumer, it is your greenback given right to criticize things. Not all of us have the time or even the ability to become programmers or designers or whatever. We are busy doing other things. But you know what? We still like games and we still want our games to be good so we can talk about them. Yes, we fucking can. I talk about games because I have an opinion about it, and why shouldn't I express it if I care to? Huh? And this segue is us so shitting perfectly into why I think we all should talk about it. I mean, well, maybe not you. You look like when you open your mouth, a bunch of hair is just gonna fall out of it or something. You're on the internet to see the opinions of others and to express your own. The internet is really nothing but a gargantuan, swirling puke vat of opinions from chumps like you. You have a gaming background too, I assume, or I mean, who the hell are you watching this for? You have something interesting to say, that or you totally don't, you speak entirely through image macros and links to 20 second clips on YouTube, in which case you can very sincerely fuck the fuck off and come back when you got a real personality, but hey, if you're not a prick and you're a gamer, your opinions about gaming are just as valid as the next pricks. But just talking about it still won't do anything, I don't think. I think it's like, thanks to the existence of the internet, this argument is so invalid, it's silly. To add some legitimacy to my noise, I'm gonna quote someone who's famouser and has much more money than me. Dan Harmon, creator of the fantastic show Community, said this not long ago during a giant Q&A on the internet website Reddit where people got to ask the creator of the show Community questions and he responded directly to them. Here's what he said. I think what the internet, which is increasingly becoming the real world, needs most is a big fat dose of everybody assuming that everybody can see them. You are seen all the time, even if it's just by doucheface commenter idiot 469 on YouTube who hates a dislike on your comment that Destiny's Child is better than Beyonce's solo work. <coughs> More people than ever are reading the nonsense you put on the internet and it can affect things. I mean, there's empirical evidence of this for Christ's sake. How about the ending of Mass Effect 3 which generated such a collective virtual fervor of B.O. soaked acne ridden nasally whining that EA, which is one of the biggest Star Wars Empire-like conglomerates of today that we have, actually went in and changed the godforsaken ending. I mean, what? That's nutballs. Or more recently, how about when the piss poor Hitman Absolution trailer came out and a jillion people got mad about it, with good reason. The developers said, hey, you know what, we're actually going to go into the game and we're going to make this less stupid and exploitative. And I mean, to be honest, I've seen the new trailer since they said that and it's pretty much still missing the point. It's still like slapping a band-aid on a festering sore brimming over with shiny tits. But still, the real point is that with the internet, you wield a frightening amount of power and influence, and with gaming especially, as explained before, developers are really not too far off from you. I mean, they read all the posts and they care about your opinions. Hell, they even hire people now just to wrangle the social circles that spring up around their products. And thanks to the idea of DLC and patching and all that noise, they can go in and change the game almost on the fly based on your rambling. So being a part of this culture, I argue that you have more power to change and disrupt and unmake and remake this culture and this industry more than any other industry or media-based culture currently in existence. So like I said at the beginning of this whole mess, games are still really young, so we should talk about them now before it's too late!